So I've got 400 yards to the white gong down there. A gong is two feet tall and 18 inches wide. All right, so here's our gong target. Remember, it's 18 inches wide left to right and two feet tall. That's 24 inches tall. So this is my aiming point right here. I was aiming for the little black circle, but to be honest with you, at 400 yards and 6x, this whole thing's pretty small. But here's my grouping right here, and looks like I got a flyer right here, and I did miss one. There's a little bit of a breeze, and it, I don't think it's affecting the bullet much, but it's definitely affecting my body as I was sitting in the chair. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And I picked up eight pieces of brass, I think, if I counted correctly, so it looks like I missed it at least one time. Hello everyone and welcome back to my subscribers. If you're not already a subscriber, I'll put a link here for you. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the ACSS reticle that's found in the primary arm scopes. The top scope you see here is the one I'm currently using for three gun. This is my three gun upper right now. I'm fiddling with the, uh, the bolt carrier, using a new bolt carrier from Whiskey Arms. A little side note there, ultra light. I'm tweaking the gas system right now and I haven't got it just the way I want it just yet. But nevertheless, that's why my three gun upper is stripped down. This is the one to six primary arm scope and it's got that ACSS reticle. If you're not sure what that is, Such did a really good video on it. Uh, he explained the, the calibration, or the, uh, not the calibration, but the reticle itself, how to use it and such. It looks, here's the box for it, it looks something like this. I find it really, really easy to use. Uh, me and my son both can sit there and crank off shots and hit targets out to 400 yards with my uh, 16 inch upper with this scope. My son, you know, he can sit there and no problem at all. I'd showed him how the reticle worked and he was able to start popping targets. I'll put a link to that video right here. But what I wanted to talk to you about was the reticle itself appears to be calibrated for a 20 inch barrel. Now, my three gun rifle is 16. A lot of people are gonna go, well, why aren't you using 18, man? Three guns, 18. I like the light weight of the 16 the maneuverability for house clearing stages and such and I just kind of sacrifice my long game and to be honest most of the ranges most of the matches I shoot they're really not beyond 400 yards 500 at the max is what I've run into so far or on a regular basis let me say so anyways I have this scope the one to six on my three gun rifle it is perfectly it shoots perfect out to 400 yards after 500 yards, I have to use the 600 yard marker in the scope. So here, four, out to 400 yards, it's perfect. So one and two is right here on the dot, three is at the top of the post, four is right here. So if I'm shooting a target at 500 yards, which you would think is that, I have to use the 600 yard range at five. And it also, if I'm shooting at 600 yards, you would think I'd use the 600, but I'm actually using the 700 yard range. And to be honest, I've never shot past 600 at the, the, with this scope. So I haven't gone and tried the 800 yard range. But my barrel, I guess I'm not getting enough velocity to effectively use the calibration of the scope the way it is. Now, I, I don't think it's anything wrong with the scope. I believe it's something that has to do with the velocities that you get from a shorter barrel compared to a 20 inch barrel. And why do I say that? I have a 20 inch gun right here and another primary arms scope. This is a fixed six power. In order to use the reticle, you have to be on six power. So this one is a fixed six power with the same reticle in there. 600 yards, you can use a 600 yard hash mark and just pop the targets all day long. My son was actually hitting at 600 yards with this 20 inch rifle. And this is a uh, Des Arms barrel, in case anybody's wondering why that cool twister look is. But anyways, this, it hits just fine. This, not so good, beyond 400 yards. Now this one here is a fixed 2.5 compact scope. The reticle's slightly, slightly different. This, so I guess you could think this video is going to be more of a, a review of this particular red dot. 
It's fixed two and a half. I use it on my 10 and a half inch uh, suppressed rifle for hog hunting and stuff. But looking at the photo here, I'll try to stick a photo, a real photo of the reticle itself, but it basically looks like this. These dots are so tiny, for me anyway, that it's very hard to discern their location, even with the red dot on and the distance between them. Plus, with a two and a half magnification, using these dots for actual shooting at range is kind of di kind of difficult for me anyway. But then again, I have to wear glasses, so if you're wearing glasses or not wearing glasses, in my case, it, it becomes a challenge. So these dots I find are very very closely spaced to each other inside the scope, and they're very very fine, which you need for shooting at range. However, the trade-off is they're difficult for me personally to see. But I love this. It's, it's perfect for a couple hundred yards. 400 yards, I can hit to 400 yards with this <laughs> without any issues, which kind of amazed me when I was, you know, with the 16 inch. This 10 and a half inch was doing pretty well on itself. So this, this two and a half power scope, it's I, I like the value of it, the size of it, and the ability there's really nothing to jack with other than uh, an adjustable uh, rheostat for intensity levels of the reticle. The, uh, the caps on here are pretty standard, and it actually comes with some flip-up covers, as does this one down here, but I, I typically don't use the flip-up covers. They just kind of get in the way. I'll just deal with dirty optics. And you can buy an optional mount right here and put like a laser or something like that on the front. But I've been very happy with this Primary Arms 2.5 right here. This one here, I've been happy with it as well. However, this is my third one. What? <laughs> You're telling me? Yeah, it's my third scope. I've had to send it back twice. The first time, the eye bell back here would move and the reticle inside would move. The second one... Uh, would not hold zero. I could hit a pattern at 100 yards about like that and which is no bueno. This gun is very good. It is much better than that and that's shooting from the Caldwell lead sled. That sucker holds your gun nice and tight and I could not get it to hold zero. I'd move my adjustments and it would the bullet would go the other way or it would go in some other direction. Just crazy stuff. So I sent it back. This, they sent me this one. I was able to sight it in the week before the three gun match and got out and used it. My long game suffered tremendously. And I don't know if it was because of the stairs I had to run up or whatever. I was breathing so hard. But nevertheless, I shot the match with this. I'm looking into the uh, Vortex Strike Eagle next as, my, uh, as another choice for my three gun rifle. And maybe move this one down to the 20 inch gun to have that ability to have a one to six power because I use the 20 inch for uh, coyote hunting and stuff. But anyways, that's the primary arms, AC, SS reticle, the way I see it. As I mentioned, Such did a good video on it. However, I'm not sure if he shot long, out to super long distances like I did. So he may not, or he was using a 20 inch barrel, never even noticed the drop that I did. But anyways, thanks for watching. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. So I just zeroed the gun at 100 yards and it's grouping about like this with some wolf ammo. Really nice groups for cheap ammo. But So let's move back and try the reticle at multiple distances. Okay, so we're at 400 yards. I'm using the exact same ammo I was at 100 yards. It was grouping nice. It's the cheap steel cased ammo. And we're going to use the 400 yard reticle in, in the scope and see if we can if, see if it's on. I think it will be on because it was just stacking them at 100 yards. So if I can do my trigger control, everything should be good. Got to yell it out for me. It. All right.
First one missed, second one hit. Now the real test. Let's see if you can do it. Come on. Okay, so this is 400 yards. The bench is a little too big for him, so he's got a. I've got him standing. We're starting to get a cross breeze now. So go ahead, shoot when ready. That little hard grip in the gun with that cast? Yeah. No hit. Take your time. Hit. I don't think that was a hit. No hit. What? I heard it. Oh, hold on. Let me zoom in. Okay, go for it. Hit. Hit. Is that a hit? Yeah, I heard it. Man, finger off that trigger. Hit. Hit. Ah, miss. You pulled your head up after that shot. You got to follow through. Second. To the left. But elevation was perfect. Hit. 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 Miss. Ah, good one. You called your shot on that. So you, you knew you missed, didn't you? Yeah, because I was a little off when I pulled the trigger. Hit. <laughs> Boy, you're calling your shots now. Good. Good shooting. <laughs> you're, you're out of bullets now. Very nice. You like that? I like that too, that you were able to hit at that range.